Right, gender fluidity, whatever that is. Who made that up? Um, is it just? Is it lawful? Is it right? Is it a misnomer? Is it a legitimate argument? Is it a fad? Is it an idea that somebody has placed on the table for consideration and debate which has got a, f a wind and a sponsorship behind its agenda? Let's call it a agenda fluidity. No such thing. Uh, let's, let's reason this through logically. Uh, right, have man. Woman. Right, fact. Man and woman produce a seed. We know that they are the same kind, but man is the opposite sex to the woman. They are poles apart, but they are mankind. We have a dual nature, male and female. Now, reason this through. If it was gender fluid, so we have a GF person and we have a GF person, which one produces male seed and which one produces female seed? So which one is gender fluid now? Is it this one? Or is it this one? So is there such thing as gender fluidity? Or is it an agenda placed on the table to cause division, debate, argument and confusion? And for that to be sponsored, so you'll get a society that doesn't know the difference between man and a woman. But of course they will still have the uh, reproductive organs of a male and a female. But they, they, won't, they won't be allowed to, uh, so if it was ever l legal, that, oh this is lawfully right, this is correct, this is true, that gender fluidity is true, well then which, what, how do they sex, well which one produces what, and if you pass it as a law, and that it's right and s acceptable for society, what about those who don't hold to that? that they hold to that. Does that cancel that out? Because that cancels that out, because that's how it is, that's true. A man and a woman have always existed. Because God created man in his own image, and then from the man he took the woman from his rib. And then the two, the two seeds produce one. It's logical, there's no logic to gender fluidity. We have one God, he produced one man and then from that one man became two and those two produced one see so one one man became mankind because we got a woman from man woman means taken from man because that's how God created man and then took the woman from the man that he created so the woman is of the man so there's only one man that's mankind so you could say oh, well that's gender neutral or well, no because God's divided it into two sexes so there is a there is a gender there's what there's no there's a gender fluidity in in mankind because there's two genders, so gender is gender. 
But there's a division in the gender and it's called man and woman. And it'll always be that, you won't change it. So uh, gender fluidity, fluidity is completely illogical, completely false and a and complete lie. And God's word remains true, the truth remains true, the truth remains lawful and any 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 person who questions this in their mind and accepts gender fluidity is just really not thinking about it and going with the status quo and as soon as it's accepted those pockets of society that accept it as the norm because it will be sold as normal and everybody agrees with it and it will the wind behind it will be a sponsored social acceptability and that will draw in a crowd that will draw in oh well, we don't want to be left out so the that that body of nature will follow it and then it will make it popular then it will make it acceptable then those people will be merchandised because the 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 idea has been put on the table without any consideration to men and women and it's it's like a homophobic you can't speak out against a homophobic. What about their rights? Well, what about man? What about the truth's rights? What about what's right? What's right? What's morally right? What's logically right? What's lawfully right? And what is true? What's true for the right reasons for all concerned? So home, making uh, homosexuality lawful is, is not is not right for those who hold to a man and a woman produce uh, men and women so there's no gender fluidity there's no homosexuality that is legitimate it's sponsored by liars and people who are in that that way inclined who are anti-moral anti-law anti-government and anti-good and they want to sell sell this uh, snake oil, they want to sell this uh, yo-yo and they want the public to buy into it and that is simply what uh, gender fluidity, fluidity is it's, it's, what, it's a sponsored lie to give it legs, to give it wings Red Bull gives you wings, well this is uh, it's not Red Bull but it's not true and uh, it's the same with um, all these other um, fanned uh, crazes, uh, popular, new socially acceptable ideas that keep popping onto the tabletop. Oh, should it? Shouldn't it? You know, should we teach our children this? Should we teach children about transvestites? Is it socially acceptable? No, it's all being sponsored by money to give it a, a social acceptability. It's a lie. There's only one. Um, only one truth and if you do not know that truth I will sincerely offer you uh, that there's only one God there's only one saviour and that saviour died he paid the price of all sin and we're all born in sin and we're all lost and if we die in our sin we simply go to hell and God, God suffered his life he gave his life up that all mankind may be saved and be brought unto God and the knowledge of God and Christ said simply repent and that means to to turn away from all your the world's ideas and 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 sin and realize you're a sinner and the, the, the only one who can save you is the door is the, is the gatekeeper is the, the creator and God who gave us the truth who gave us this word he gave us man he gave us our breath he create he created this whole world and gave us a probation he gave us life if you reject that life you reject God and God can't deny himself he's faithful and true gender fluidity is not it's a lie so if you hold to it it'll rob you of your your gender it'll rob you of the truth and it'll rob you of your soul so I, I, I'm going to close there and I'll offer the the gospel to anyone seeking the truth and the, the only way and the only truth and the only life and the only giver of that life died on the cross and was resurrected the first day the third day and you can receive that joy and that that life and that reality the moment you believe the moment you seek seek out the lord and believe and receive that um dispense salvation and i'm going to close there in the beloved sacred name of jesus christ amen <laughs>